everyone. I hope you find yourself having a great day. Today we're going to put together a quick and down and dirty tutorial on how to create the infinite background in Cinema 4D. And you might want an infinite background uh, in some of your upcoming projects just to alleviate the uh, potential of uh, elements in your background that would show edges or borders or walls or, or anything like that, just your default ugly black background. So for example, if I were to put in a plane that's going to be representative of my floor, all right, and render this now, you'll see that I've got this background. And regardless, whatever I'd want to do, there's no way that I can really get rid of this other than building walls or something like that. But let's say you just want a clean scene where you don't have your edges and backgrounds or any, anything of that nature. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to first start out by adding a background object to our scene. And next we're going to create a texture by double clicking down here and double clicking your texture to edit, edit it. We're going to start off by turning off specular, going into our color channel, selecting it, and we're going to go under texture and choose gradient. All right. And at this point, we're going to double click the gradient and we're going to change this type of gradient to a 2D circular. All right. We're going to change up these colors a little bit by editing this outermost perimeter of our colors by clicking, double clicking this area. And I'm going to pick a, uh, a mild blue color, something about like that. And then I'm going to change that black to um, something a little more pleasing. Maybe just a little more of a variant on that same color. So we're gradually moving in from a darker to a lighter to our center. All right. Now we're going to apply this texture to both our plane and our background. Now it's a couple things we're going to do here. It's very straightforward, so follow along. We're going to select that plane. We're going to right click it and choose Cinema 4D Tags and we're going to add the compositing tag. Okay. Now we're going to go move into that image but before we do that come down here under your tag and we're going to activate the compositing background. Okay. Now move over to your image select it while we're under our plane and here we're going to tell its projection type to be frontal. All right. So if we go ahead and render that now you'll see that we've got a seamless uh, transition from our plane, our flooring area, to our background. Now, it may not look as seamless, uh, but just based on the project size, so I'm going to change this to a uh, widescreen. And at this point, when we come back in and we render it, you'll see that we've got a seamless transition from our foreground, our floor, to our background, regardless of how we might rotate our camera or the height or distance that we move in and out from that. Okay. So to get a better example of how this works, we'll put a cube down. We'll go to my front view. Move that cube up so that it sits on the floor there. And we'll go ahead and put a light in the scene just for uh, illustration purposes. Move it up and over. And we're going to put a shadow on that light. So come down to shadow. We're going to put a soft shadow in there. Knock its density back to about 70%. And at this point we'll render it. See we've got our shadow. And you see that it's hanging off the edge here. Although we still got our um, infinite background going. This plane that we're using for a floor element is not quite large enough. So we'll select that plane. And we're just going to scale that up a little bit to make sure that we accommodate our shadow casting. And now if we render that you'll see that it doesn't fall off the edges. And we're getting our scene with our infinite background just like we'd hoped for. So I hope this helps you guys. Remember if you like my channel comment, rate, and subscribe. And we'll talk to you later. Bye bye.